Good morning guys and welcome to Heartland Dual Sport. This morning I thought we'd kind of go over a few things. We had mentioned in a previous video that we was going to be doing our uh, 300 mile review and I've actually hit 600 miles much faster than I thought I was going to between uh, work and using this as a computer commuter bike going back and forth to work and uh, just riding around a little bit here and there on my days off. So guys we're at uh, 550 so we're almost at the 600 mile oil change and before this ride's over we're going to be at the 600 mile review so I'm going to go ahead and start this just a tad bit early but we're probably more than likely going to be skipping the 300 mile review if you guys want to see the 300 mile review I've already got that video made um, just send me you know maybe comment down below or whatever and we'll uh, we'll add that video to the series the African twin series the playlist uh, it's not that big a deal, but I, I don't want to uh, bore any of y'all. But if you are interested in the 300 mile review, mention it down below, and I'll add that video as well. But uh, let's go. Uh, let's go ahead and get the uh, 300 mile review going, guys. Good morning and welcome to Heartland Dual Sport. We are going to be going over the 600 mile review of the Africa Twin. As soon as we get through this intersection, I'll, uh, I'll cut some of this out just to make it easier. Because I know y'all don't want to see a bunch of this. <laughs> Somebody will be getting dizzy and uh, complaining. But uh, anyhow, do the old left, right, left. As you guys know, we... Uh, we got a buddy, Steve, who's already got an Africa Twin. I'm headed over there right now. We're going to go ride to Stillwater tonight. I think I mentioned that in an earlier video. And we'll, we'll actually be making a couple of videos tonight. But I uh, want to go over this 600-mile review with you real quick while we're kind of in an area where the wind's not blowing too bad. And you can actually hear me without being a lot of wind noise in the background. But uh, number one, for starters, the more I ride this bike, the more I absolutely love it. So uh, with that said, Let's get on to the review. We uh, still haven't really gotten on the motorcycle hard. We're in the uh, 600 mile oil change deal. And it tells you in the owner's manual, you know, to kind of go easy on the bike. So we haven't done any wheelies. We haven't done anything like that. We've, uh, we've actually followed along really nicely with the uh, break-in period. I need this bike to last me the rest of my life. And uh, so I'm taking really good care of it through the uh, break-in. But uh, number one, you know, a few of the things that we talked about in the earlier video, the initial review, everything on this bike works great. I'm super pleased that I got the manual transmission. It uh, shifts super smooth. The bike's really smooth from the factory. The suspension is set up extremely well. Again, I haven't been on any hardcore, hardcore off-road stuff, but uh, I don't know if you can tell. Give me a second. Sorry about that, I got a sweat running down my nose and it felt like a bug crawling on it, but uh, so it was kind of tickling me, but you can see, I mean, <laughs> this road right here is actually ridiculous. If you live in Oklahoma, half the adventure between number one, the wind, and number two, our roads are uh, the worst in the world. I mean, I, I think you got to uh, actually flunk out of road driving or road making school to get hired here. I think that's part of the prereq. Hey, how'd you do in your... Uh, you know, your road paving course, did you flunk? Okay, yeah, you're in. Uh, but, but you know what I'm saying. I mean, our roads are terrible. We got the worst roads in the nation. And, uh, you know, the good good thing about that is uh, that's a heck of a way to test your suspension straight from the factory. Again, I'm really pleased with the suspension. One of the things I wanted to point out, and this happens with uh, a lot of your newer riders that don't necessarily grasp the idea how suspension works, but want to touch on this real quick and I, and I know this is a review for the Honda Africa Twin but I'm going to throw out a tip. It's free of charge today. Not charging anybody. This is just free guys. But uh, sometimes guys think if they'll lower the, uh, the preload on their bike it would be easier for them to touch the ground. Sometimes these dual sports are tall. They're on the tall side. But uh, guys I'm going to tell you something. Don't do that. Your preload needs to be matched to your body weight. 
and uh, when you, what happens is, is when you take that preload down it might drop your boat bike an inch or so in overall height and you, when you're sitting on it you're thinking oh yeah I can stand here flat footed now well the problem is is you you've weakened up the the preload which is let's just say it's a spring for example and keep it simple when you do that and then you start going over rough terrain you're gonna start bottoming out your shocks and when you bottom out your shocks you're gonna blow stuff out of it it's 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 bad on it extremely bad and then it's gonna cost you lots of money down the road so guys don't do that buy the lower seat kit if you need that if you need more uh, room to the ground or you need to be closer to the ground buy buy the accessories that are made to lower your bike anyhow I, I did want to talk about this suspension sorry about the free tip but it's something I feel is important and I think maybe some of your newer riders might need to hear that uh, your bike needs to be set up for you and your body weight your bike needs to be set up if you if you do a lot of two up stuff you need to be able to set your bike up for two up and uh, that's uh, really important your suspension is extremely important on on maintaining control and you guys know I'm a big safety buff it's uh it's 98 degrees outside right now I've got on a coat and gloves a helmet this is a helmet free state you don't have to wear a helmet here I'm just a safety conscious person back to the review so far I'm pleased with the tires the stock tires do great for the road as you guys know I've got the DRZ 400 for hardcore trails and uh, this bike is going to be my compute commuter bike as well as a bike that I can get on and ride uh, across the country ride to Colorado ride up to Missouri to see uh, woodsman ride down to Louisiana to ride with tanker man that's what I bought this bike for and again guys I'm sure you can tell how rough that is right there I mean our roads are terrible terrible back to the bike fuel mileage fuel mileage I'm really pleased with so far we've been getting over 50 miles a gallon every time we've checked it I will do a video later on specifically for the fuel mileage and every time that I've filled up thus far I've got it on video and you can see how many gallons it took and what the average mileage was that's uh, super awesome one of the things that I really like about this control panel if you look up here at the control panel you've got several things and I don't know how well you'll be able to see it I'll try to lean in here a little bit guys the control panel is actually pretty sophisticated when you consider what the bike was meant for this bike was made for doing off-road and tour type stuff it's got a lot of features in the control panel I'm really really pleased with it we will do another video just on the control panel down the road um, it, but I'm here to tell you everything you need and all the things that you need at a glance are really big right on top everything you need at a glance is really big you can look down real easy to see you still got other things you can see at a glance as well your rpms your fuel gauge um, the temperature on your bike i mean it's it's just awesome they really did a great job on this putting this bike together again the seat the seat is super comfortable we've done as long as a 275 mile trip in one day since we've had the bike and uh, we've traveled over blacktop we've traveled old back roads we've traveled interstate we've traveled gravel roads and we have been in a tiny bit of dirt i'm not going to say it was really a dirt road uh, but it was we got off on the gravel road and the little bit of dirt that i was in was mainly just so i could get pictures the bike is handled like a dream The bike has handled like a dream, and I'm just super, super excited to tell you how good this thing is handling. It's uh, bar none the best bike I've ever owned. I've had a lot of great bikes. I've had a lot of I've had a lot of great bikes, and I'm here to tell you, I really feel like this bike was was designed for me, my style. Uh, the engine engine's peppy enough that you got a lot of you got a lot of go. If you need to pass somebody, you're you're gonna have no problem passing somebody. You guys have seen we've already done a two-up video. The engine's got plenty of power to pull you and your wife, your girlfriend, whatever, up and down hills. Just make sure that your girlfriend don't make sure your wife doesn't find out if you're taking your girlfriend. Uh, you guys know what I'm saying. I'm just being silly. But uh, no, in all seriousness, this bike, the engine power has definitely got plenty enough that you can uh, haul two people. 
I'll be able to haul all of my gear when I go on my long road trips. This bike is just uh, really, really nice. I like everything about it so far. Like I say, it's got plenty of power. It gets great gas mileage. The load capacity on it is, uh, I think it's, I'll have to double check the numbers, but it's 400 and something maybe from the factory. So, I mean, th this bike is made for you. A guy like me that's pretty good size, you can still throw your camping gear on here. You can still throw your girlfriend on here, or your wife, or whatever. Um, it just handles like a dream. Again, I've showed you in the original video. I've never had a bike that was this easy to stand up on, and I mean to tell you, it is great. It uh, really handles well. Doesn't matter if you're standing up or sitting down. Everything on it is perfect. Of course, you know, uh, there's always going to be accessories, and uh, guys, if you haven't subscribed yet, I'd like to talk you into subscribing. We've already got some awesome accessories picked out for this bike. As you know, we work too much. <coughs> As you know, I work too much, but all the little extra jobs that come up here and there that I uh, gladly take is going to help us accessorize Roxy, and... Uh, Again, guys, overall, 600 mile review. I can't think of a better bike. I can't think of a better bike. For me, I know it's not gonna fit everybody. Everybody's needs and, and riding styles are different. But I'm here to tell you this bike, if you're thinking about, uh, let me see here, what was one of the best ways I heard this bike described? This bike, and I don't remember, you know I'm terrible with names, but I was watching a review recently and uh, it was one of the magazine guys or whatever. He said, if you're coming from a dual sport and you're looking for a bike that feels like a dual sport, that's big enough and mean enough to be used as an adventure bike, this is the bike for you. And I couldn't agree with him more. You know, this, this bike wasn't designed to pull the GS1200 riders away from their bike. The guys that can afford the 1200 Ducati Multistrada aren't looking at this bike. This bike is a bike that your working man can go out and buy at an affordable price and take an adventure across the United States, ride the Trans-American Trail from start to finish, ride anywhere you want, anywhere you can think of, you can take this bike. And that's what I bought the bike for, and I'm telling you, I can just tell in the, you know, the original 600 miles here, this bike is uh, definitely, definitely going to meet or exceed every one of those expectations. Again, guys, if you like our video, give us a big thumbs up. We always love to hear from you. We love your comments, likes, and subscribes. And most of all, get out and ride, guys, and may you have a blessed week.